Billy, you so crazy. Yo, what's cracking? What's cracking? It's your boy, squeaky chair in the building. Billy, you so crazy. Yeah, we back and we back and we back and we back with another one. Y'all read the titles, you already know what I'm doing. This is Gabriel Iglesias gift basket. This is requested by the one, the only, my man, Silo De Deza Desaza. My bad, bro. I butchered your name. But thank you so much for being a part of the Crazy Pack. Um, you're one of the new members, so welcome to the Crazy Pack, by the way. For those that don't know, the Crazy Pack is the small community of, of my Patreon supporters. Shout out to all my Crazy Pack members. But anyway, Silo said he wanted to see me react to this. A lot of you guys said that y'all wanted to see me react to this. So today is the day. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Please be a part of the So Crazy family by hitting that subscribe button. Comment down below what you want to see your boy react to next. And I have it up for you. Um, when I get the chance, just be patient, all right? I say this every time, but y'all don't ever listen. But one day you will, all right? But enough talking. Let's just find out why y'all wanted me to react to this so bad. Like, let's find out. Oh, and by the way, for those that have been wondering what happened to the Comedy Sunday series, it's coming back. I had two strikes on my channel, so I had to ixnay on the comedy reactions because um, the manager of Richard Pryor, I can't, I can't think what his name is, but he was attacking my channel heavy for all the comedy stuff I was doing. So I had to, I had to wait 90 days for those strikes to get removed. They're finally lifted. So the Comedy Sunday series is coming back. I don't know when, maybe next month or December, but it's coming back. All right. So every Sunday I'm bringing y'all nothing but comedy reaction. So y'all be sure to spam the comment section with the standups that you guys want to see me react to for the Comedy Sunday series. And please, 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 please provide the video link. If it gets spammed, I will make sure that it'll get unblocked, unspammed, whatever. It'll I will be able to view it. Just please send me the links, all right? Cuz y'all be sending me stuff and I can't even find the clip sometimes. But enough talking, y'all. Let's get straight into this. Find um, a very special way to close out this event. And uh, I thought it would be great if I could tell an old story that was from years ago that never made it to a one hour special. And uh, the cool part about this story is that it, it now has a different ending. We got a different ending. How we got a different ending? The story is called The Gift Basket. Yeah! Okay, I see somebody in the crowd has heard this joke before. Some of you know it. Some of you don't know it, but after this, you're never gonna forget it. I don't know this joke, by the way. I do not have the slightest clue. All you have to know about this story is that all the people involved have always been and will continue to be friends. That being said, Martin and I, <laughs> all the good ones start like that. Martin and I Who is Martin? are scheduled to perform in Northern California. Usually we fly. But this particular day, I was having a problem with Southwest Airlines. They wanted me to pay for an extra seat for someone who wasn't traveling with me. <laughs> Take your time. You'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, I tell Martin, I'm not paying for an extra seat. Let's just drive. It's six hours. <laughs> so we headed north. Six hours. Three hours into the drive, we're passing through a city called Fresno. And as we're passing, hey, Fresno 559, get us home, wait. Right. Anyway. As we're passing through Fresno, we start seeing billboards off the side of the freeway that said, performing this weekend at the Radisson Hotel, directly from BET's Comic View and Showtime at the Apollo, comedian G. Riley. And I look at Martin, I go, oh shoot, G's in town. And Martin goes, yeah, I haven't seen G in years. So we're like, let's stop by the hotel and say hi. So we pull into the parking lot. We walk in. I tell Martin, he doesn't know we're here. I'm gonna crank call his room. He goes, what are you gonna say? I said, I'm gonna tell him that I'm the front desk and that he just received a gift basket. He goes, what's so funny about a gift basket? I said, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna describe it over the phone and I'm gonna make all the items that are in this imaginary basket become items that stereotypically a black person might like. Oh my God. You're crazy. I said, I'll tell you what, we got two hours to kill. How about oh my this? God. How about we go to the supermarket and we make an actual racist gift basket? <laughs> And we'll have it delivered and we'll wait outside to see what happens. I said, are you down? What? We go to a store and we start to design the oh sickest my God. practical joke ever. I get a shopping cart and I'm like, all right, we need a basket. So I find one. I take out the grass, the plastic eggs, and the chocolate rabbits. And we start hitting the aisles. First item I grab is a fried chicken about that big. Okay? How did I not see that coming? See how quick that laugh was? <laughs> 
few black people in here like, motherfucker, this better be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's hysterical. Let me just finish the story and then you can judge me in the parking lot. So anyway, then the fiend hands me a miniature watermelon and I put it next to the fried chicken. Oh my God. Here's where it gets interesting. Employees of the store find out what we're doing and they start volunteering to help us finish the basket. The employees of the store went and helped. That makes it funny. I'm not going to hold you. That makes it Half of the employees were black, which made it so much more that, accurate. Yo, okay. Aisle after aisle. I, one guy was he had help. on the shelf. He was an older white guy. And we're like, sir, can you help us? What do you need? My buddy Martin and I are trying to make this messed up racist gift basket for our black friend as a practical joke. Can you think of something we can put in there? Without even blinking an eye, the guy was like, ah, you gotta have Kool-Aid. <laughs> of course. At the end of the aisle, of course. on the right, malt of liquor course. is an extra aisle over in the back of the store. That man said malt liquor. It's on sale two for one. By the time we get to the register, all these different employees plus us came up with the basket that had fried chicken, watermelon, Kool-Aid, grape soda, barbecue potato chips, sunflower seeds, barbecue? an ebony magazine, a Chris Rock DVD called Big Hold on, hold on, hold on. It took me a second. He said barbecue. I'm not going to hold y'all. I fit that stereotype. If, if black people love barbecue chips, I ain't going to hold you. Like, I definitely like me a good... A good bag of BBQs, you know what I'm saying? I like me some BBWs too, by the way. <laughs> Hello, how y'all doing? I didn't realize I fit that. I didn't even know that was a stereotype. <laughs> bigger and blacker, Magnum condoms, Newport cigarettes, bigger and blacker. A of ribs, the recipe for cornbread. It was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That man said bigger. the recipe for cornbread. Icing on the cake, we find a greeting card that's on clearance from Halloween, and it has a picture of three ghosts on the cover wearing sheets. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I tear off the half that says Happy Halloween, and on the back of the card, I write, Welcome to Fresno. Love the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> and we stick it to the basket. We made it all nice and pretty, and we haul ass to the hotel. <laughs> we pull up. <laughs> we walk in. The basket is hot as hell, so I'm racing in. <laughs> I get inside, and I put it on the counter as fast as I can, bro. It's too perfect. There's a black girl behind the front desk. As soon as I put the basket down, I hear... Is that chicken? Ooh, let me see. Hold on. <laughs> what is it? Let me explain. My name is Gabriel. This is Martin. We're a couple of comedians, and we're about to play a really crazy practical joke on a friend of ours who's staying here tonight by the name of G. Riley, who's also a comedian. Oh, the one that's on the signs on the freeway. Yeah, the one that's on the signs on the freeway. So as a practical joke, we went to the store and we made this messed up racist gift basket. That's, <laughs> that's why you can smell fried chicken. <laughs> and she was like, what? She was all in. She was all in. <laughs> you need Jesus. That's what you need. <laughs> Kiki, girl, you better have you ain't gonna believe what I'm looking at over here, girl. Oh my Listen, God. We think it would be hysterical if we could have you deliver the basket for us. She lost it. Oh, the hell you didn't. <laughs> I know you didn't just ask me to take that to a black man. You are out your damn mind. Oh, Lord, <laughs> Lord, why? Give me strength. Why? Do not kill this big ass Mexican. Why? Here, Lord. <laughs> why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look here, oh Nacho God. Libre. I don't care who you are. I am not doing it. She called that man now. Nacho Libre. I'll give you 50 bucks. Where Done. Motherfucker? Done. Done. What for? What for? <laughs> Yo, he could have offered me $5 and a free rental from the red box. What room? <laughs> you want me to call him first? <laughs> like, what's up? <laughs> Easy. We Done deal. We follow her to the hotel room. She knocks on the door. Martin and I hide by the elevator on the floor. She knocks. She opens the door. Sees a beautiful black woman standing there with a gift basket. This is for you, baby. He says, thank you. Closes the door. She walks away and she sees us on the ground hiding, right? And she's like, y'all still going to hell. <laughs>
<laughs> we get up and we walk over to the door and we put our ear. Listen, shh, listen. This is what we hear inside. <laughs> Woo! Chicken. <laughs> oh, Kool Aid. <laughs> He's getting excited over every single item he's pulling out of the basket. He gets to the greeting card. What can a Fresno love the Chamber of Commerce? Hell yeah. Then we feel him flipping the card over because his voice changed. He's like, oh yeah, man, this is, what the fuck? <laughs> Outside the door, we heard racist bastards. <laughs> when we heard racist bastards, we lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Housekeeping is freaking out. That man put the three ghosts. <laughs> we're laughing, we're crying, we got boogers coming out. We can't take it anymore. We knock on the door. He yells, Who is it? Too easy. Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Damn. He rushes the door. I put my finger on the peephole so he can't see who it is, right? The knob starts to jiggle, then the door explodes open, and he's like, what? And he sees us, and he's like, ah! <laughs> What's up, G? Man, y'all give a brother a heart attack. <laughs> Did you like your basket? Man, that was messed up. Did you like it? Man, I love all that shit. <laughs> 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 Yo, he's stupid. <laughs> he's and now, stupid. ladies and gentlemen, a story that has been seven years in the making. I would like for you to now hear, for the first time ever, the other side of that story. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Ladies and gentlemen, I flew him here to Hawaii so that he can share this with you. Give it up for my friend, Mr. G. Riley! Oh, snap. Oh, snap. They both in the same weight class. Oh, shoot. I, I gotta be honest, I didn't know it was racist. I thought it was lunch. He's stupid. I, <laughs> He's stupid. I, I, <laughs> He's stupid. I thought it was lunch. I didn't know it was racist until I got back to my neighborhood. And brothers in my neighborhood looked at me. They say, man, I, I don't believe you let that Mexican guy do that to you, man. That was messed up. I know you got him back. I said, what, buy him lunch? <laughs> I can't afford to buy that man lunch. <laughs> if, I, if I buy him lunch, he'll be getting me again. <laughs> But see, you gotta understand, it was the perfect set of circumstances when it happened. Because I'm laying across the bed in the hotel. I had never been to Fresno before. And I wanted something to eat, and I didn't know where to go eat. So I'm laying across the bed, and I'm saying to myself, where could I go eat? I wish I had some food. And all of a sudden, magically, there's a knock on the door. <laughs> and a black girl shows up with a gift basket. And I took the gift basket, and I said, they know how to treat their comedians up here in Fresno. <laughs> And I'm walking to the bed and I can feel the heat and I can smell the chicken from the gift basket. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. Cause nobody smells chicken and thinks of racism, right? I mean, is he wrong? Huh? Well, I guess, I guess it's different when a black woman delivers it to you. Is that the difference? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, chicken is chicken, bro. We all eat chicken, so. Right, so I see the watermelon. I'm like, oh, this is cool. They know how to treat a comedian up I in here. I do not like watermelon. I get to the card, and I look at the card, and I go, what the fuck is going on? I said, oh, my God. I'm working for the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> and I really, I really started to panic. Because in my head, I'm saying to myself, is this for real? Because there were billboards all over the city with my picture. And I started thinking they were trying to scare me out of town. <laughs> so now I don't know what to do, right? And I start trying to call a promoter, and the promoter's not answering the phone, and it's festering in my head, and I'm nervous, and I'm pacing in the room, and all of a sudden there's a knock on the door, right? And I go, oh my God, they come to get me. <laughs> <laughs> 
this stuff they coming to get me. So I ease over to the door, right? And I look through the peephole, right? And all I see is a brown dot, right? And I go, I hear somebody out there because I hear the breathing, right? I hear. So this was about 60 pounds ago, right? I, so I he was bigger. Them, up under the door, right? But I said, oh my God, it got to be about five or six of them out there. <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said five or six. <laughs> <laughs> that man said there gotta be five or six of them out there so I figure like this I figure okay you know what if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen true you know, if it's true gonna happen, that is the mentality I have so all the time black face on you know I, I tried to look mean you know I look, I look like this guy right here I look like that guy right there right and really go, who is it and they go, Chamber of Commerce. And I'm like, oh my God, the Chamber of Commerce is the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> and I'm panicking. So I get to the door, right? And I pull the, open, the door open. And when the door opens up, these guys are falling all over the hall, laughing at me. They're rolling all into the cleaning lady's car. The cleaning lady didn't know what was going on, right? She's scared to death because she sees a black dude with no shirt like this. So she grabs the lane pledge like it's pepper spray, right? She's ready to get... <laughs> <laughs> so everything now that I realize it's a practical joke, everything calms down because I remember now I remember how hungry I was. I'm like, okay, cool. Practical joke, right? So I go in the bathroom to wash my hands. While I'm in the bathroom washing my hands, I hear a commotion in the other room. Right? I go back in the other room. They're going through the gift basket. The maid is leaving with the watermelon. Martina's drinking my 40. And this fluffy bastard is eating the chicken. chicken. Yep. Yep. I saw the layup. I saw the layup. So that was Gabriel Iglesias' gift basket. That was my first time hearing that joke. Um, I didn't think that it was going to end that way. I definitely didn't see him bringing his boy out. So that was dope. That was dope. But Gabriel Iglesias is funny in general. So once again, shout out to my man, Silo. I, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, bro. My apologies, man. I'm probably butchering it. Y'all know I'm bad with names. Shout out to all my crazy pack members that deal with my struggle with butchering y'all names like this. That I appreciate it. I really do. But um, yo, Silo, for real, appreciate the comedy request. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've done comedy. I I did a, a George Carlin. Someone else requested that, but that video got blocked. So I don't I don't know if they're just hating on my channel with comedy because I'm starting to see a lot of reactors do comedy stuff now. You know, I'm not saying that they got it from me, but I'm saying I, I ain't gonna say nothing though. But uh, for some reason, they're hitting my channel a whole lot harder though. So I don't know what's going on with my comedy reaction. So hopefully you guys are able to watch this. If you are, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below right now which one to see me react to next. And I have it up for you when I get the chance, man. Shout out to everyone that's a part of the So Crazy family. Shout out to everyone that's a part of the Crazy Pack. Once again, shout out to my man, Silo Desaza. I'm gonna go ahead and end it on that note, all right? It's your boy. Billy, you so crazy, and I see you on the next video, man. I'm out this thing.